Jules Montagnier Incorporated, makers of fine cosmetics, makers of Stopette, America's number one spray deodorant. The deodorant in the famous Flexi Plastic Bottle. The deodorant whose delightful ease of application has changed the nation's habits. The deodorant you apply like this. Poof. There goes perspiration. Now I invite you to play television's gayest game, What's My Line? <laughs> Take a good look at this woman. If you saw her in a shoe store, would you be able to tell what she does for a living? Is she a truant officer? A woman scientist? A blues singer? What would you say if she turned to you and asked, What's my line? <laughs> yes, it's What's My Line, where the experts are asked to guess the occupations of real people. And now let's meet our lineup of well-known personalities whose lines you probably already know. First, the well-known Broadway columnist of the New York Journal American, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, the noted American poet and anthologist, Mr. Louis Untermeyer. And uh, seated next to me, as usual, I'm happy to say, that fine actress, Arlene Francis. Why? And on my left, our guest panelist tonight, mm -hmm. the famous publisher and columnist, Mr. Bennett Cerf. And on my left is the famous news analyst, and moderator and master of ceremonies of this program, Mr. John Daly. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to What's My Line, presented by Stop It. Once again tonight, we're going to put our cameras close up on a few people from some varied and perhaps unexpected occupations, all of them here to give our members on the panel a run for the money, the money which they hope to take home with them as prize money. We'll also have a famous guest challenger before the panel a little bit later in the show, but now to start things rolling, it's time for the experts to meet our first challenger whose job they will have to spot. So will you sign in, please, sir? Fred Martini, is that right? Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Martini, first of all, tell us where you live. Well, I live in the Bronx. In the Bronx? Yes, sir. Well, most of these people over here are from New York, but don't hold it against them. However, they want to take a closer look at you. So will you walk over there in front of the panel for me? Hello, Mr. Hello. Martini. Oh, wait a minute. Would you come back here just a second? Sure. Would you do something for me? I sure will. Would you turn halfway around let me see you do a knee bend? Halfway around and do a knee bend? Turn halfway around do half a knee bend, if that's easier. Uh -huh. Oh, he's religious. Sort of a genuflecting knee bend. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Martini. Well, indeed. <laughs> All right, Mr. Martini, I think the panel's had a close enough look at you. You come on over here and sit down next to me, if you will. And on the basis of your handwriting, what you said, how you said it, and the close look they've had at your knees and the rest of you, we're going to give the panel one wild, free, and happy guess as to what your line may be, and we'll begin the wild guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think he's a carpenter. You think he's a carpenter, Mr. Yes. Rundemeyer? I think his name is the disguise. I think Martini is a Manhattan mixer. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. Well, I'm going to stay with the clergy on that genuflect someplace along the line. All right, Mr. Sir. I think Mr. Martini's a police inspector, one of the new ones. <laughs> <laughs> no television man he, huh? Now, I'm afraid you're all wrong, and now we're going to let our viewers at home have a really close look at Mr. Martini, and at the same time, panel, we shall tell them what his line is. But you, as usual, are going to have to fight for the fact. You know what the rules are. You ask questions in turn to be answered yes or no. Each no answer costs the panel $5. We keep a record of it right up here. Ten no's and you've lost the game. Now, we're going to give you one more bit of help. Mr. Martini is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Mr. Rundemeyer. Uh, do you work for a profit-making organization, Mr. Martini? No. One down and nine to go. Miss Francis. Yes. Are you uh, in education in any way? In a way. <laughs> in a way, yes. Right. It's kind of a hilarious way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, may I suppose that you have uh, pupils? <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Half-witted, obviously. <laughs> uh, does your work with these in a way pupils uh, fit them for better living? In a way. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> when he gets through with them... Does he have a job, in a way? Yeah, he's got a job, in a way. Uh, do you touch these pupils? In a way. Yes, I do. Uh, is your work in any way uh, advisory? In no. A way? Oh, no. not in a way. No, no, no we're going to take a no. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Martini, are your pupils men exclusively? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are your pupils living? Yes, definitely. Uh, are they um, creatures which have more than two legs? <laughs> Four down and six to go, Mr. Rundemeyer. I gather now they are 
two-legged creatures in a way two-legged. <laughs> you may assume what you please, Mr. Adam. I assume Carry that on. they are two-legged creatures and that in a way he helps them, improves them. Uh, do they ever, uh, are they fleshy creatures? Yes, definitely. Uh, do they ever get more than, I shouldn't say, very I pleasant. think we can let that stand. We had a little problem here. We think we'll let that last yes stand. It might be a little confusing, so I wouldn't put too they much They have flesh on them, I mean. Well, uh, they let us say that they're bulky. Go on from they're there. They're bulky. Does he, because they are ever maybe too bulky, does he ever put them in a steam bath? <laughs> <laughs> no. Five dollars. Five yeah, we have a conference. Yes, yes, you may have 20 Arlene, seconds for a conference. Let's find out what they are, beings. for heaven's sake. Let's find out if they're human beings and if yes. they're children, maybe. Children is yeah. a good idea. Well, at least if they're human. I mean, found they'll be are. children in a way, I feel <laughs> <Yes>. sure about it. Are your pupils children? No. Six <laughs> down and four to go, Mr. Too, Sir. It? Are your pupils human beings? No. <laughs> Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are your pupils members of the animal kingdom, broadly speaking? Yes. Uh, it couldn't be fish. Um, <laughs> Please think out loud, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, we missed that one. She said they couldn't be fish. I don't know why they couldn't. Well, you say they are, they are not generally more than two-legged. Uh, do they have legs at all? <laughs> he hasn't looked down that far. <laughs> Technical, isn't it? Well, you are the expert. You give the answer because I'm not an expert. <laughs> Well, they're not called legs. Would you they're like what, to withdraw that say? question? They're, they're not, not called, called legs. legs. Oh. Uh, are these things... Uh, do you want to contemplate? I have a hunch. Yes. Uh, something like mammals, let's say, as apart from other kinds of... What do you mean, well, like what a if they were microscopic? There's been no request for a consultation panel. Go well, ahead, there Mr. was. I, thought, I asked oh, I... Louis if he wanted one. Leave me out. I'm the one who took <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right, I'll, I'll throw this one away. Are, are your... Um, uh, Creatures, whatever they are, uh, could they be seen under a microscope? Uh, would you rephrase the question? <clears throat> I'll, I'll just re-question. All right, you re-question. That's a little bit difficult because, uh, let us say, a portion of them might be put under a microscope. Yes. Uh, could you hold these things in your hand? No. Eight down and two to go. Mr. Adebayo. Could you hold them in your lap? <laughs> yes. Are they pets? Not as we use the term pets. Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. These are animals that have uh, 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 something like legs. Uh, are they ever in museums? Yes. Uh, are they an unusual animal? Mm, unusual. I don't think, not in the sense of being I mean, unusual. but they're not in everybody's home. They're not, <laughs> all right, on that basis you go ahead, Miss Francis. There, would they be animals, thank you, would they be animals that you might see in a zoo? Yes. Uh, are they mammals? Yes. <gasps> I just Maybe it's a whale. No, no, wait a minute. What about <laughs> a... I didn't see it. Would you like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. I know what it is. But, He's got it. Uh, but, we had our conference. We, I got the answer from Bennett, I think. Are you a SEAL trainer? Uh, <laughs> oh, It's a program for flappers. <laughs> <laughs> is that fun, training oh. SEALs? Oh, very much so. I was tempted all through, Dolly, to give you this. But... I, I still object. I still think that they are pets. I've often wanted to have a seal in the bedroom. <laughs> the kind of you keep this rather by your business. But I must say congratulations <laughs> to the panel and congratulations to you too, sir. You did very well with the prizes and thanks Thank for being our guest on What's My Life. <laughs> all right, panel, now let's see what you can do with our second challenger. So will you come and sign in, please, ma'am? Alice, Alice Matthews, is that right? Fine. Is it Miss, oh, Miss, Miss Matthews? Well, Miss Matthews, tell us first of all where you live. Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Hmm. Well, I got a panel over here. You've come a long way to see them, and they want to see you. So would you mind walking over in front of the panel? May I shake hands with you, Miss Matthews? This is how he makes friends and influences people. <laughs> Read any good books lately? <laughs> Anything you want to say? Mm. Uh, could I see a ring, please? Rings? Rings. Two Plural. rings. Yes, that's very interesting. All right, Thank Miss you Matthews, you come on over here and sit down next to me. There are two rings and not one of them. And on the basis of your handwriting, what you said, how you said it, the rings you have on your fingers, and the good close look they've had at you, we give them one wild, free and happy guess as to what your line may be. And we'll begin the wild guesses as usual with Miss Kilgallen. 
Well, inasmuch as she's wearing two engagement rings, but no wedding ring, I would say she was always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adebayo. I was going along the line that she was a professional correspondent. A professional correspondent. <laughs> Miss Francis? I think she's a department store buyer. A department store buyer. Very good answer, Mr. Sir. I think she's the principal of a school. Principal of a school. Now, I'm afraid you you're wish wrong. wish you'd gone there. So now we're going to let our viewers at home have a really close look at Miss Matthews. And at the same time, panel, of course, we should tell our viewers what Miss Matthews' line is. You've got to have to dig for facts as usual. Ask questions in turn to be yes or no answers. No answers cost you $5. We keep a record of it right up here. And when there are 10 no answers, each at $5, then you have lost the game. We'll give you one more bit of help. Miss Matthews is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Is it a private organization? Yes. Uh, is it what would be considered business? Yes. Um, do you uh, come in contact with the public in this work? Uh, that's difficult to answer because she comes in contact with the public in the sense that uh, she will meet people, as we all invariably do. If you mean it in the general sense of large bodies of the public, we'd have to answer the question, no. Is that no, what you meant? No, no, I don't want you to answer No, that I didn't mean you meant that. Uh, well, you go ahead, Mr. She Cal. occasionally comes in contact with people. Yes. Uh, do you sell services? Yes. Yeah. Uh, is there a product in connection with your services? Yes. Yeah. I like the way she keeps looking at John. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, just, we're just trying not to mislead you. There is a yes. product, but its, its relationship is indirect. I see. Uh, does your work take you from place to place? In some instances. Slightly. Uh, do you deal with both men and women, whatever your service is? Does yes. that apply to both men and women? Um, I pass. All right, Mr. Rendermeyer. Is your work advisory? Do you give oh. advice or is advice asked of you? You guide, counsel, be friends. No. I think you've messed that up sufficiently so you can get a nice <laughs> home. Now one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Well, you sort of gave me a long, warm look when I said department store buyer. So I'm going to ask you if the products and the services that you deal with have anything to do with a department store. Yes. Uh, do, you, uh, uh, do you buy as well as sell these products? Well, now you're assuming something. Oh, you I want to make the first part of the so. question? No. She deals with products. Oh, deals. deals. Do you? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, are you in some way a buyer for a department store? Or are you a buyer? <laughs> yes. I figured she didn't have anything to do with that department store. No. I got out of that in a hurry. Uh, now you have to tell us what Are these buy. products something that uh, uh, are used, uh, 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 something that you might put on? Uh, <laughs> colloquially, yes. Uh, well, would it have anything to do with cosmetics? <laughs> Your cosmetics <laughs> well, congratulations. What do you mean, Sandal. thought of it? Looks like she'd put them on. Well, what would colloquially, you, you talked about putting on cosmetics. I was afraid you would get into clothes if we didn't give oh, you oh, a oh, reasonable oh, answer. Oh, oh, oh. She did very Matthews. well, and I hope you had some fun with I it. Guess. And thanks for being our guest, Miss Matthews. I don't think Watch she should be life. a public school thing. <laughs> Before we meet our mystery guest for this evening, we have a message of interest for all our many viewers. And now we come to the regular special feature of our show, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. And because our experts over here would recognize our famous guest on site, we've provided them with blindfolds for this special test in personality identification. So get the blinders on, panel. Now, in this particular case, it's not so much what's my line as who is it. A challenge once again to the ingenuity and the perceptive talents of our panel. Are all the blindfolds in place? Right. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? All right, panel. As you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we dispense with the usual amenities and get right down to the general questioning. And so we'll begin that general questioning with Miss Francis. Well, whoever this is, they must be in the entertainment world. Are you in the entertainment world? Yes. And it's a lady with a deep voice. Are you a performer in the entertainment world? I yes. mean, an actress? Uh, uh, are you in uh, uh, pictures? Yes. Are you also in the theater? No. Uh, we don't want to be completely unfair. Our mystery celebrity has been in the theater, and I think in that context, and we won't give you a flat no. You go ahead, Miss Francis. So that primarily, then, we say she is in pictures? Yes. Uh, have you uh, uh, a, a uh, penchant for comedy roles? 
Oh, oh. no, sexy roll. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our mystery celebrity has said she has, so you go ahead, Miss Frenzy. Uh, 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 I pass. You pass, Mr. <laughs> Sir. Do you sing in any of these pictures that you make? Yes. Uh, have you ever made any pictures in which you don't sing? Yes. Have, uh, has your last picture been a picture in which you sang, or was it one which you did not sing? Which I did that not. That cannot be answered yes or no, Mr. Sir. You must ask Did you sing in your last yes picture? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Did you sing in your last picture? No. One down and nine to go. Miss Kilgallen. Um, are you blonde? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Rundemeyer. By a process of extreme elimination, are you a brunette? <laughs> well, at this point, yes, and at no. This... <laughs> at this moment, looking at you as I am with blindness, you are a brunette. And looking at you in the same way, I presume you are glamorous. Yes. Uh, don't bother to answer. Uh, <laughs> you are glamorous. Have you been in the papers uh, more or less recently? I think so. You have been in the papers more or less recently. Has a certain well-known singer made a trip to Spain in order to... <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, well, certainly not to see me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Seven to go. Hey, Miss Fred. Uh, uh, do you wear your hair long? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Surf. Your last picture, you say, you did not sing. Were you the star of the picture? Well, yes and no. <laughs> well, that's a strange answer. This is, is becoming modesty. The answer no, to that should be I'm a thundering quite, yes. I'm quite professional about it. You mean your name was below the title of the picture rather than above it? You're getting too technical, Mr. Sir. You go yeah. ahead with the answer that you've got and go somewhere else. Was, it a, was the last picture you made a comedy? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you ever uh, dance in motion pictures? I have been known to. Oh. Not well. Gosh, I know that voice, and I'm in Pittsburgh. Um, have you um, appeared on television before? Yes. Would you like to pass? I pass, yes. Mr. Rundemeyer. Let's get down to this picture business. You have been in pictures recently, and your most recent picture was not a comedy. No. What was it? The well-known, again, by process of elimination, not a blonde comedy, but a brunette tragedy. Very much, I would say. Very much a tragedy. Well, let's have a conference now. You may have yeah. very much 15 a seconds for a conference. Recent, uh, may I ask, was it a very great popular success? Hmm. I don't like that. I answer. will answer yes. <laughs> you go ahead, Mr. Rennemeyer. 15 what, what seconds great, for a conference. Uh, tragedy you. recently with, with a woman who is a star and prefers not to call herself a great star. Ruth and, Roman? That's sort of a Ruth Roman. No, no, no tragedy. Oh, it could be Gloria Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, of course uh, it uh, is. Uh, uh, Gloria Swanson. <laughs> First of all, I understand you're going to have your own radio program soon, is that yes, right? Yes, two weeks from uh, tomorrow. Oh, wonderful. Well, we should, we should all it. watch for it. Now, before you go, Miss Swanson, we have something for you. Mm -hmm. uh, that lovely Scaparelli suit that uh, you saw a moment ago is going to be presented to you by Scaparelli and Jules Montaner Incorporated. Oh, how very Isn't that nice. lovely? Oh, how exciting. And I have one last word. I think that um, our folks should know, both at home and here in the theater, that you're going to leave Tuesday for a command performance before the King and Queen of England. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Fine. Oh, now, will you get over there wonderful. and satisfy those people? and I couldn't place it. I knew if I said one thing, you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> and here's your bag, and thank you very much for being our guest on Thanks. Once My Life. Good night. All right, panel, we've got time, I think, for one more challenge. Let's see what you can do. Will you come in and sign in, please, sir? Edwin S. Lurie, is that right? Fine. Well, tell us first of all where you live. Another New Yorker. Fine. Well, now, we don't have too much time left, so would you walk down in front of the panel so they can get a close look at you, please? May I see that? Uh, may you see, Dorothy? Uh, uh, Ollie, uh, that uh, the thing the insignia in his lapel. The insignia. Says what? American what Legion. American Legion. American Water Legion. Your name. 
Very Gordy good and Ellie. All right, Mr. Lurie, you I'm come right back here. I haven't got enough time for another look. You come over here and sit down next to me. Now, on the basis of your handwriting, what you said, how you said it, and a quick look ahead at you, we give the panel a wild guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the wild guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I, I think he runs a parimutuel machine. A parimutuel machine. <laughs> Mr. Underbuyer. Mr. Lurie is a clown in a flea circus. <laughs> Miss Francis. He's a diamond cutter. A diamond cutter, Mr. Sir. For some hair-raising job, I would say <laughs> trying out jet pilots. Jet <laughs> no, I'm afraid you're all wrong. And now we'll let our viewers at home have a really close look at Mr. Lurie. Same time, Penn, we shall tell them what his line is. You'll have to take the facts. You know the rules. You ask questions in turn to be answered yes or no. Each no answer costs the panel $5. And we keep a record of the no answers up here. When you have lost 10 times, you have lost the game. Give you one more bit of help. Mr. Lurie is self-employed. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Mr. Untermeyer. All right, I'm going to take a wild chance. Mr. Lurie, is your work dangerous? No. <laughs> one down and nine to go. We have less than two minutes to go. Miss Francis. Is your work uh, along the line of service? Yes. Uh, you do not deal in products, then? No. No. Uh, do you uh, uh, work that in one place? That got you a no answer, but we won't let it count. Yeah, I was I going to go over very quickly on yes, that you again. Go ahead. Uh, do you work in one place? No. No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Do you work in the homes of your customers? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgall. Uh, is what you service inanimate? Yes. Uh, would it be likely that you would be requested to service this thing by men as well as women? Yes. Um, and you go from place to place in order to do this? Yes. Do you touch what you service with your hands? Yes. Mr. Daly looks rather Well, that's what you It's, it's that. a technicality, which I'm sure you will not wish to kick my brains Good. in for after the program is over. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Gallagher. Um, do, you, uh, do you consider this work um, uh, as something that would require a certain special ability? Yes. Uh, everyone couldn't do this. I mean, yes. Uh, it's true that everyone couldn't do no, this. No, everyone couldn't. Ms. Darley, we've got about 40 seconds well, to I'll go. Well, I'll pass Mr. Undermeyer. Mr. Undermeyer? Uh, do you want to do anything like renovating or repairing or doing something over? No. no. Four do down you, and six to go, Miss Francis. Do you use a large machine to do what you do? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Have you anything to do with entertainment of any sort? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, what you do is practical. No. Uh, I'd it's, call it It's practical. end is practical, yes. You have uh, 15 seconds. Is what you perform upon a luxury? No, not a luxury. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Undermine. Is it a necessity? Uh, it might be considered it a necessity. Considered. And I There's think that's a, good, that's a good point to leave it. By default, Mr. Lurie wins. He is a tea taster panel. Oh! And thanks very much for being oh our God. guest on What's My Line, Mr. Lurie. Good night. <laughs> now, in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you a preview look at a picture of one of the challengers whose line our panel will be asked to try and identify on our next program. This coming Sunday night here in New York, our panel of experts will be asked, What's My Line, by this young lady. Would you know what her occupation is? Could you spot her line? Well, for the answer to this and other personality puzzles, be sure to tune in again when Stop It invites you to play What's My Line? And don't forget our new day and time, this coming Sunday and every Sunday from now on at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For other localities, check your newspaper for the date and the time of our new weekly series. And until then, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. Good night, Louis. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Bennett. Good night, John. And good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line? Hello, I'm Fred Rogan. Hi, and I'm Heidi Bohe. Join us for GSN Live. Instant winners, classic shows. It's GSN Live. Weekdays starting at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific.